Welcome to the biblical site of Tel Gezer. Located along two important roadways, those connecting Egypt to Mesopotamia and the coastal plain to the Judean highlands, Gezer has often played an important strategic role throughout history. This can be seen in the city's many mentions in Canaanite and Egyptian texts, as well as the Hebrew Bible. So come, join me as we explore this incredible biblical site. These here are Gezer's famous monoliths. These 10 standing stones date to the Middle Bronze period and were originally suggested by archaeologists to be the site of child sacrifice here at Gezer. This assumption has since been largely rejected due to a lack of evidence, but we're still not completely sure what they actually were. The current leading hypothesis, that of William Deaver, is that they were erected to commemorate an alliance between Gezer and several other local groups here in the area. Welcome to Tel Gezer's water system. This system, which supplied the Bronze Age city with water, is thought to be one of the oldest and largest of its kind in the ancient Near East. The entryway here measures a whopping 26 feet tall and 15 feet wide, and the tunnel extends almost 300 feet down into the earth to meet up with a spring beneath the tell. Gezer became a major fortified city during the Middle Bronze period, playing a key component in the matrix of Canaanite city-states at the time. Gezer would rise to great heights during the 14th century when it exerted control over many coastal villages and cities, including the port of Jaffa. This power would come crashing down at the end of the 13th century, however, when the city was destroyed by Pharaoh Merenefta, as mentioned in his famous stele. Evidence of this monumental destruction has been found in recent excavations of Gezer, which have revealed a large house burnt to the ground during this campaign, with its unfortunate occupants still inside. We're standing now in Gezer's Solomonic Gate. According to 1 Kings chapter 9, centuries after the city's destruction by Merenefta, it was given by the Egyptian pharaoh to King Solomon as a wedding present when Solomon married the pharaoh's daughter. Solomon would then go on to build up the city of Gezer along with several other biblical sites. When it was first excavated, this six-chamber gate was originally attributed to Solomon, given its similarity to gates at other sites he supposedly built up according to scriptures. Although numerous archaeologists have since debated this date, recent excavations have supported a dating of the gate to the 10th century, approximately the same time as King Solomon. Here we see a segment of Gezer's casemate wall, along with a large administrative building. This building measures approximately 2,500 feet squared and included at least 15 separate rooms. Due to its close association with the Solomonic Gate, as well as a defensive tower, it's thought that perhaps this building was utilized by soldiers stationed near the gate. The building was abandoned and destroyed towards the end of the 10th century, however, possibly as a result of the biblical pharaoh Shishak. Thank you for joining us here today. Don't forget to like and follow us across all of our social media platforms and subscribe to our newsletter so that you can stay up to date on everything from the world of biblical archaeology. And if you would like to check out a couple more videos from Biblical Archaeology Society, then there should be a couple options for you to check out on the screen right now.